Good morning. I know you can't see me right now, but that's because we love 5.30 in the morning shifts. <sighs> oh, here we go. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to this week's reading vlog. This is my second vlog of my spooky season reading extravaganza and this week's theme is Dark Academia and I have three books to read over the course of this next week. I have How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao. This will be the first book that I am picking up. I also have A Lesson Inventions and Ace of Spades. Um, but I'm starting off with How We Fall Apart because it's the one I'm really excited about. Um, well, I'm excited about all of them. This is actually the one that I I got I got it from a friend, so I want to make sure I get it read for them. So I will be starting off with this one. Um, yeah, uh, as you saw in the before this clip, today was my first and only day, as I found out, where I had to start work at 5:30 in the morning. So I was really really tired. And I still am really, really tired. But I've got a thing or two that I need to do today. I'm not doing too much work of my other job, my virtual job today. And I may or may not take a nap. <laughs> I, all day at work, I'm like, I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna take a nap, I'm gonna be happy. And now that I'm home, I'm like, or I could just lay on the couch and read the book. I mean, that's still pretty restful. So, yeah, I gotta do one quick thing, post to my bookstagram, and then I can start reading How We Fall Apart. And, yeah, last week, oh, if you haven't seen last week's vlog, you should definitely check it out. Um, otherwise, I didn't end up reading any more of the thrillers that I got. I was just so tired last night, and I had lots of editing to do, so... I didn't make it any further in those books, which just, I'm just gonna uh, hold them off until uh, these vlogs are done in those couple of days before Halloween. Um, I will just renew my hold for the library with them so that they last, but that's kind of the plan. Because I don't think I'll finish all three Dark Academia books and then have significant time left over to read the thrillers. If I have time left over, I will, but I think because I only finished two books last week and they were my two shortest books, I'm a little nervous, but I mean, at the same time, like, I'm a little bit more adjusted to my schedule now and hopefully I won't procrastinate reading as much. Not that, not that I didn't want to read, I very much wanted to read, but it was very much the, I could sit here and read. Or I could quick do this one chore or this thing I've been meaning to do and I would take that over reading until I just didn't read as much as I wanted to, which was a bummer. But anyway, that's enough of me yapping. I'm going to do my stuff so I can start reading and I'm excited. Hey guys, so it is late. What day was it today? Thursday night, right? First day of the vlog. Really late at night, way past my bedtime. Oh. Um, but I, I didn't read any of How We Fall Apart. I didn't even open the book. See, what happened was, I did the thing I needed to do, and then I took a two hour long nap, and when I woke up, I was still really tired, but I lost all motivation to be productive. So then I popped on a TV show that I love. And I got an episode or two into that, and then I was like, oh, I want to I wanna plan my bullet journal for next month. So I did that, and that's basically all I did, is I sat there, and I watched my favorite TV show, and I finished planning my October bullet journal spread, though, and I am really excited for it. Um, I think it's going to be even better, um, so stay tuned for that early October. Or, you know, just subscribe now, hit the bell, so that in early October when it's posted, probably the first Tuesday in October, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, so I am in my pajamas. I am in bed. I'm going to read the first chapter of this. 
probably not more because I'll be super tired. Hopefully not less. I hope I can make it through a chapter. And that's going to be my reading for today. So I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow after work where I'll hopefully actually read this book. Is it Saturday night? Yeah, it's Saturday night. So, as you can probably tell, I did actually start reading Ace of Spades. Um, I I still want to read How We Fall Apart, but the audiobook for Ace of Spades came, so I'm gonna read it a lot faster. Um, so I'm still gonna read How We Fall Apart, just when I don't have since I don't have the audiobook. I'm just gonna read this one first, but I haven't read essentially at all in the past two days i've read the first chapter of how we fall apart and i am interested in it it is good because it has already started the plot and i think it's going to be interesting characters um but i just i've been obviously really tired adjusting to a new full-time work schedule where i'm standing all day long it's just it's just been a lot for me uh <laughs> but I am 80 pages into Ace of Spades, which on Goodreads, it says that the book is 480 pages, so it says I'm only 16% of the way through, except in my copy, it's 415 pages, so I'll just say that I'm on chapter 10, and, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little way, I'm a little ways into it, I started it, um, recent, today, tonight, you saw. Wow, I am so scatterbrained for this clip. How wonderful. Um, the interesting thing is, so obviously it's Dark Academia Week, but it's very interesting, I think, how We Fall Apart and Ace of Spades already has a cast of characters, each with, like, secrets that are probably going to be exposed. So, like in How We Fall Apart, it's someone is murdered and they go around suspecting all these different people and figuring out their dark secrets to make sure they didn't kill them. And Ace of Spades is at uh, a very very fancy school and it follows like the two black kids at the school uh one who is miss perfect who is um striving to be the best to get into yale to be the top girl even if that doesn't always mean she is the nicest person and then we're also following um the other character so the girl is chiamaka and the boy is devon and he is the complete opposite. He's the uh, scholarship student who comes from a rough neighborhood and has lots of secrets that if they get out, they could literally end his life. Um, and, oh no, the secrets are coming out through text messages to the entire school. But the fun thing is, is that these texts about the two of them separately are not being sent to them. So one of them shows up to school, everyone's looking at them weird, and they're like, what's going on? Until so someone finally tells them, oh, hey, everyone got a text about this. And it's like, <laughs> no, you don't say. So I'm really liking it. It's it's moving. It's interesting because it's I'm reading it very quickly, and I feel like it's moving fast, but then when I think about what all has happened, it, it doesn't seem like it's moving fast, but at the same time, it kind of is. So... 
I'm liking it. I really want to finish it quickly, obviously, because I'm behind, because I didn't read for two days. I just sat there and watched TV like a lazy person, because I'm also really big into TV, and that does not mix well with reading. <sighs> but, yeah, so this is going to be my main focus with uh, How We Fall Apart as a close second. I think How We Fall Apart is going to be like the book that I read, like a chapter or two before bed. But when I like sit down like this to do a chunk of reading for a few hours, I'm going to start off with this. Um, and then I'll go full time to how we fall apart. And then I'll end with a lesson in vengeance. I, I, because I'm sitting here and loving this book and thinking about the two other books that I read last week, I'm very much kind of sitting here like, am I going to love all these books because they're books that I knew I'd be interested in and I had heard a lot of good things about? Or was it actually just good luck that I, I do like these books so far. It's probably the first one. So, yeah. Saturday night. I don't want to go to work. Ah, wow. Crazy. I know. So, yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I have no idea what tomorrow's gonna look like. I might have plans. I might not. I might read all day, and I might not. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and catch up with you then. I want to film more things to make it a more interesting vlog, but I just feel like my life is just not that interesting. So it could end up being all like reading updates, and I hope that's okay, but it also could actually have some fun clips, and hopefully that's okay too. So I'll catch up, up uh, the, the, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow after I've had some sleep, and maybe when I've had some progress, or maybe when I'm about to make progress. to my kitchen. So, we obviously, as you just saw, we just took Haku outside and he had a lot of fun. It was his first time outside. It was adorable and we met a neighbor. It was, it was all wonderful. Um, my initial fall plans for this weekend kind of fell through a little bit. Like, it's just, it's just not going to happen. It's not a good weekend for doing things. Um, so I thought I would do some baking. Uh, and I do a lot of baking at work. But I've been really wanting to do more baking at home, and I really enjoy it. Disclaimer though, so today I will be making blueberry muffins, but yes, I am using a box mix. I don't normally like to use box mixes, I normally like to actually bake them from scratch. But I didn't have a lot of time, this is kind of one of the things that I picked up because it's fast and it's easy, rather than like, oh I'm actually going to do a big baking project. So. I will be baking these today. I will be trying out our new little skull tin, um, but since it only holds six and this makes a dozen, I need to have a regular muffin tin as well. So yeah, normally when I do baking in the future, I won't want to use box mixes unless I just don't have time but I need to bake something. This is also not the first thing I've baked in the kitchen, but it's the first time I've baked in this kitchen after we've moved in. So. This is going to be a fun adventure, and yeah, first thing you're going to want to do is find all the dishes you need and wash them if they need to be washed. I just did that. Whew. Second thing we need to do, turn the oven on. So I'm going to do that. How much do we need it for? I think 425 or 400, but because home oven ovens are crappy and don't actually get up to the temperature or maintain the temperature that you need, 425 it is. 425. So, next thing. The problem is, is that there's no good place to put the camera for any of this, so it's going to be interesting.
So I opened the blueberry tin that they give and uh, it was disgusting and we tasted one and it does not taste like blueberry. I smell more blueberry in this batter than I taste blueberries in here. So I initially, I had my own frozen blueberries that I was going to use but now I'm only going to use those and ditch this because no. No. Always use your own fresh fruit because this is ridiculous and disgusting. So now the next thing you want to do, spray your pan. I don't care if you're using um, like the muffin wrappers when you make your muffins. Spray the pan. Just always do it. Trust me. Just spray the pan. It'll make them come out so much easier. Because you're most likely, because sometimes you overfill them and then they crust around the edge and then you can't get them out. Spray the pan. So I moved back over here because there's more space for everything. But I am terrible at cleaning up after myself as I'm baking something. But that's something to always try and do. It's just so much easier. So. I have these adorable little fall wrappers. They're so cute and so fun with little pumpkins and squashes on them. So. I will be using these for what don't fit in the skulls. I don't think this is going to make a full dozen. Maybe mini ones, but not not normal ones. So, but we'll see. We'll see. So now I'm setting a timer for 15 minutes, because that's the minimum amount of time. I always do the minimum, check them, then see if they need more. I think they'll probably need more, especially the ones in the skulls, because I think those have more batter in them. And I think if I didn't use the skulls, we probably could have gotten a dozen regular sized muffins, like little but regular sized. Um, but I wanted to do the skulls, so. And I think the skulls are going to be a little full, so they'll take a little longer to bake, and we'll see how they rise. <laughs> it's first time using them, so it's going to be an experiment. Uh-huh, timer. 15. Okay, so now we have that going. Normally, uh, it's good to have both items on the same rack so that they bake at the same time, because depending on where your heat comes in from your oven, it will adjust which is hotter, the top or the bottom. I think ours comes in through the top, so I put the more, the ones with more in them, the skulls, on top and then the other ones on the bottom because there wasn't enough space um haven't i've only used this oven once the one time i baked in here um and it turned out fine but i'm still a little nervous but yeah while we wait though i should wash the blueberry off my hands but while we wait let me give you a reading update okay <sighs> tried to wash the blueberry off my hands but they're still stained a little blue so i'm a little nervous about touching the book but I am reading Ace of Spades um, more than I am reading uh, How We Fall Apart. So I am 80 pages into this, which Goodreads says is 16% and Storygraph says it's like 8%, but that is not true because there are only 415 pages. So me being at 80, I'm a little under a quarter of the way. And I am really enjoying it so far. Um, I think... It's interesting because the the main moments of the book so far, the like the texts that everybody's receiving, happen so short, but then we focus so much on the aftermath of it that it feels like that part is a little slow. I think this book also takes place over the course of two or three weeks, I think, um, just by how we're going through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because it says at the beginning of every chapter, it's kind of nice. Um, both of these kids obviously have really big secrets that we don't really know about but are being revealed. One thing I thought that was interesting is so almost immediately you learn of something really bad that Chiyamaka did and she tells us, the audience, or like she's thinking about it, she gets a flashback and so we learn what it is but it's not something that was brought to light by Aces, the person who is texting everything. And I don't quite understand why 
we are getting information that Aces hasn't revealed, whereas with the other person, we're only getting most of the information through Aces, and I like that more. I like the idea of I'm learning more through the character as their life is being more and more ruined. So the fact that I already know something about Chiyomaka that she's trying to hide and hope they don't find, I don't like that quite as much. Um, but I still think there's there's plenty to read and there's plenty still to go through um, with these characters. And so we'll just kind of have to see about if it continues where we're learning more than Aces is teaching or if everything is going to be through Aces. Um, I really love the aesthetic though. This is, the vibe of this book is amazing because like just the imagery of the school, how it's described as like looking old on the outside but being super modern on the inside I think is such a beautiful balance um, because it definitely, and it definitely has such dark academia vibes because I mean ev most everything happens while they're at school. The texts are happening in the morning or as they're in school so it really mostly takes place at the school which is great. It, I, I love it and obviously there are mentions to the theater department and characters in there so I think it's just so much fun like it's it's a it's a high-end prep school but it's dark academia so I think it's fitting really well and I think it's a great start to this week's reading I'm hoping to do a bunch more reading once these muffins are done so Okay, so <laughs> I have theories. So I am just over halfway in the book. I'm at page 236 out of 415. So I'm just over halfway. And I have theories. I, I'm hesitant to share them purely because I don't want them to be spoilers and I don't want to put thoughts in people's heads, especially if I'm right. And I would like to say if I'm right or not. So I won't share my theories other than I think there's obviously the possibility that aces could be more than one person. So I'm gonna say I have specific people, specific characters in my mind and I will let you know if I am right because if I'm right that would be so cool and if I'm wrong I'm super excited to learn. So I'm enjoying it. I think there are definitely scenes where I'm like <sighs> But then something happens and I get excited all over again. It's definitely capturing my attention. So I feel like the book is happening over such a short amount of time so that when something new happens in their life, I'm like, why are you why are you doing that? Why aren't you just staying home and focusing on homework? Why are you creating more dramatic content? Especially since it's only been like two weeks at this point. But even like immediately after it happened, they keep doing things. And that's really kind of annoying me. And I feel like you know, it'd just be smarter to just not. So, I'm gonna keep reading. I am liking this a lot, but there are a few things that aren't quite clicking with me, but overall, the writing is really good and I'm enjoying it, so.
Sunday late at night, way past my bedtime. Everyone else is asleep, but I just wanted to very quickly update you. Um, I finished Ace of Spades. I finished it. It's incredibly emotional, and it's a lot. I, there was no way I was going to go to bed without finishing this book, so I will talk more about it tomorrow because I'm really tired and I want to go to sleep, but first book of the week, done. It's okay. Hi all, it's Tuesday. I didn't film at all yesterday. I ended up working overtime and then because of that, I had another event that we went to and I did not get home until like eight o'clock and that means I had been out of the apartment for over 12 hours and I just really wanted to go to bed. So I didn't do really any reading yesterday, but as I mentioned on Sunday, I did finish Ace of Spades and I loved it. I am rating it four out of five stars. There were a few things I didn't really like. I didn't like how the characters kept creating dramatic situations for themselves and kind of being stupid and not really like... Like obviously they took the threats seriously because it was pretty crazy from the beginning but they just kept making it really easy to incriminate themselves and that just that was the biggest thing that really kind of annoyed me but otherwise I loved the characters I thought they were very unique and lovable in their own way like they're definitely characters that stood out as like characters that have an attitude that have a personality that's different from other protagonists in other books and I really appreciated that um, so I found them lovable in that way the twists and turns were amazing. Um, I The prediction that I made that I'm not telling you, I was somewhat right, but not near to the extreme that the book is. <laughs> like, like, I was this much right. So I was still right, but I was like, this much right. Um, yeah, I think the way it's described as Gossip Girl Needs Get Out is... A perfect description of it. I've never seen Gossip Girl but I can only assume that by the title it makes sense and especially with how this book is so yeah this is the setting too. the atmosphere that it creates is perfect because the school itself just is so atmospheric such strong dark academia vibes but even when they're not at school you have that eerie sense of creepiness and it was it was just perfect highly recommend this for a fall read spooky or not like I highly recommend this so I just finished filming my finally fall book tag I woke up really late today because I was so tired I wanted to let myself sleep in slept in later than I thought I would but you know what it's gonna be good for me so I'm gonna update you on some of the things for today I have a whole list of what I need to do today. So, ooh, I almost dropped my phone. Also, new phone case. Look, isn't it cute? I finally got a phone case for my phone, so I feel so much better. Um, but yes, so my goals for today include doing some cleaning, which will allow me to listen to my audiobook, which is We Free the Stars by Hafsa Faisal. This is the second book in the duology after We Hunt the Flame. I have just over an hour left in the audiobook <laughs> so I would really love to do some cleaning in the apartment and finish that audiobook it's literally due in less than 12 hours so I kind of need to finish it today plus I'll be really happy to do that I need to edit the uh, finally fall tag that I just filmed like 10 seconds ago I need to edit it and upload it because it's supposed to go up to today and my initial plan was because I have Tuesdays off from work, I can film, edit, and upload all on Tuesday, um, which is great. But now it's going to be up a little later on Tuesday just because it, I woke up late. So I will be doing that as well. I have some work for my other part-time virtual job that I need to do, but that's a lot of fun. So I'm excited for that. And then that's pretty much all I need to do. So then I am going to read We Fall Apart. Where is it? Oh, it's on my reading chair. I want to read We Fall Apart today. I want to read that today so that I can then read uh, A Lesson in Vengeance tomorrow, which also now I have Wednesdays off of work. So that's 
That's wonderful. So I'm thinking, read a book today, read a book tomorrow. I get my three books for the week done. <laughs> I made a mistake. Give me just a minute. When I did the ginormous book haul and I went out and did the actual shopping for it at one of my favorite local bookstores, the one I've gone to for a little bit now, they told me <laughs> that I have two coupons for $5 off a $10 or more purchase, but that it, it would expire in 60 days. I had a moment of weakness. Um, I also found out that my boss at work loves to read as well, and we have somewhat similar reading tastes. And so he suggested this book to me, which was a book that I had been wanting to pick up as well. Um, I've been wanting to pick it up for a long time. The sequel is about to come out, I believe, this November. Uh, and that is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. So this is obviously dark academia. It's literally called A Deadly Education. I'm pretty sure there's magic in it, but I also I think it goes along the lines of you have to do well in school, otherwise deadly comes into play. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a much shorter book than I was expecting, but the second book, um, the one about graduation, I don't remember what it was called exactly, um, but yeah, because my boss recommended this to me, and it's Dark Academia Week, and I had a coupon, I picked up this. So my idea is that if I am able to finish uh, We Fall Apart today and A Lesson in Vengeance tomorrow and still have extra time to read, I would love to read this. Um, I think I could fit it in. I definitely think if I started this now, I could finish it now, but I want to prioritize the books I already got for this readathon, but just know that this is kind of added on to the end here. We'll see how it goes. And then because I had that, the second coupon of the same thing, I actually bought The Inheritance Games uh, by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And uh, hold up, hold up, because I own, so I've read this. I read this over audiobook last year. I already own the sequel, The Hawthorne Legacy. This is actually an arc. I received the arc of it from a friend right as the book came out. So, so I owned the second one, but I haven't read it yet. So I was like, I need to get the first one so I can have both of them and it can make sense. So I bought this. <laughs> but I've been talking about it a lot in videos because I think this is a great fall read. It's very cozy, very mysterious. Um, so I was like, you know what, if I'm going to talk about it, I should actually own the physical book. So now I have, I have them both and it makes me happy. So, uh, that's my moment of weakness. I just bought two more books. I'm sorry, but well, <laughs> am I really though? I mean, I spent money that I didn't have to, but at the same time, I didn't want the coupons to expire. Anyone else struggle with that? Anyone else struggle with getting any sort of bookish coupon and having to use it immediately before it expires because you can't just let it expire and save the money in the first place? <sighs> I hope I'm not alone. Anyway, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put Dudley Education right on top of a lesson in vengeance there. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to try and just read through We Fall Apart. Yeah, and that's pretty much everything. So everything on my list is very doable. I just need to actually sit down and do it. The other thing is, we I might, I might have a game night tonight with a coworker friend, um, but that'll be later in the night, so it probably won't take as long. Not like last week, where we have or two weeks before that, we have game nights every other Tuesday with a friend coworker, and he's been giving me manga to read. So I've low key also been reading. <laughs> I've also low-key been reading manga, and I really want to watch the anime of the one I've been reading right now. <sighs> Which is only going to distract me from reading my spooky books, but the manga is adorable! I'm reading Horiyama, and I actually have purchased the first four volumes of that one, uh, but I'm waiting to get them in the mail, and they're not going to come for a while, because I purchased them at the same time as buying Spy X Family, which is out of stock. So, I'm not going to get it until Spike's family gets back in stock. <sighs> anyway, yeah, there's your bookish update for Tuesday morning-ish. I need to get to work. So, what am I going to do now? Am I going to edit? I might take a shower. Yeah. Oh, I got to work. Yeah, yeah. I got plenty to do. So, here we go. Okay, hi. 
So, update on Tuesday night-ish. It's almost 7 o'clock, so we are going to be starting game night pretty soon. But I've started reading How We Fall Apart uh, by Katie Zhao. And the thing is, is that I, I like it, but I think it's just really similar to Ace of Spades in that um, scholarship student is kind of being targeted. Like, okay, the scholarship student isn't the one who winds up dead. It's the popular girl at the head of her class who winds up dead. But it's from the view of the scholarship student and the threatening note that they found was her note. So she's in trouble. And like, everyone has dark secrets and it's obviously dark academia. But there is someone texting uh, dark secrets called, and they call themselves the proctor. And that's just, that seems so similar to aces where they're trying to expose things to kind of get ahead and... Just right after reading Ace of Spades, I don't want to read the almost exact same thing. Like, it's obviously not the exact same, but they're really, really similar. So, I like it, but I, I'm a little hesitant about reading it right after Aces. So, I actually will instead uh, read A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This is because I got the audiobook for it, so I can read through it much quicker, and it is pretty short, so I would love to read this tonight, read a lesson, a lesson in vengeance tomorrow, and then keep reading How We Fall Apart. Um, just, yeah, I'm just not sure I'm ready for How We Fall Apart yet, but I, I will get to it, um, even though I only have two days left for Dark Academia, I will get to it, and like I said, I have tomorrow off, so hopefully I don't have to do too many things tomorrow like I did today, because I had to run some errands, but we should be all good, and oh look, my video for today has finally uh, downloaded onto my computer. So it's going up later today than I wanted it to, but that's because the very last clip that I filmed just refused to upload. My phone did not want to upload it at all. So I had to find some other method to download it onto my computer to edit it into the video. And now the video is complete, so it will start uploading onto YouTube. So <laughs> that's why it's so late on Tuesday. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys after game night when I have started reading A Deadly Education. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. I have done a terrible job vlogging. I am aware of that, but I'm sorry. So, today though, today I had a fully wonderful day planned with very little work and a lot of reading, and then I remembered my aunt and uncle are coming into town, and I haven't seen them in over a decade, I think. Um, they live in a different state, and they live quite far away, and it's just, um, so I will actually be having dinner with them, which is really, really exciting. Um, so, <laughs> I won't quite have as much time today as I thought I would for reading, but it's gonna be okay. So, I just need to do a quick few things to just to get some work done but then I plan on reading pretty much the rest of the day I'm going to read A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik I read like the first five pages last night after game night uh, not very much because I was really tired but it definitely had an interesting hook and an interesting beginning that definitely sucked me in uh, so <laughs> Like, it was one of the best first sentences I've read since, like, Uglies by Scott Westerfield. I don't know what it is, but I always remember that first line, uh, because it compares the sky to cat barf. So, I will focus on reading that so I can get that done. It should only take me about five hours. And then, from that, I will decide whether I want to read How We Fall Apart or Lesson of Vengeance. They're about the same length. I don't have an audiobook for either of them. Uh, but I want to read them both, but I'm not going to be able to read all three books today. As much as I want to, I don't think I'll be able to, but I'm certainly going to try. So let's get started, shall we?
Alrighty, so I suppose it's time for an update. It is Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, it's almost two o'clock. Um, and I've been making some good progress in a deadly education by Naomi Novik. I am reaching chapter five, which is uh, like 80 pages out of 300 pages. So I'm approaching a third of the book. I am loving this. This is amazing. So it's the whole idea that witches, wizards, sorcerers, whatever you want to call them, go to school, except the school that they're in is trying to kill them constantly and each of them has different affinities and so they all have different strengths and you can choose different coursework um, but at the end you have to survive through school which is not a given and then you have to survive graduation which is even worse so we're following a main character whose affinity is the big dark spells essentially and i love her and I love the magic system. The magic system is so unique. I love the school. It is such a like whimsically creepy environment and it, it's perfect. It's honestly perfect what I needed right now. I needed something spooky, but something that like, oh, it just makes me smile because it's so good. So I'm very much enjoying this so far. Um, I'm going to continue to listen to the audiobook as I do some editing and do some cleaning. I will for sure finish this today. Um, it's just a question of whether or not I'll finish another book today. I probably won't, but I would love to get started on one. Um, I, I hope to um, update you one more time tonight, pro preferably when I finish A Deadly Education so that it can be like fully within the vlog. But then probably any reading I do after that, we will have to watch next week's video to get an update on, even though next week I will be switching to, I think it's vampires. Um, yeah. Or it's werewolves. One of the, I'm, shapeshifters. I'm not quite sure. I'll let you know by the end of the video when I do film the final clip. But yes, so. Yeah, I, I am loving A Deadly Education and I'm going to continue going through it. Uh, like I said, I love the characters. I love the setting. Um, I'm still kind of waiting for like a, an, an overarching plot to appear, but I'm okay with that just because we're doing so much world building and so much learning. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep being productive and keep reading. I did, oh, I did also want to mention that I am drinking a pumpkin spice latte because it is National Coffee Day and I had my first one, my first pumpkin spice latte yesterday. I know, I'm 21 years old and I hadn't had a pumpkin spice latte until now, but uh, obviously I love them. <laughs> um, but I just, I don't buy a lot of coffee from Starbucks. I either just make it at home or get it at work because I work in uh, food service so we actually have decent coffee. <laughs> So I don't go out and buy coffee, but since it's my day off and National Coffee Day, of course I had to. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna keep going with my life and I'll update you. Okay, so it's about four o'clock and I'm about 64% of the way through a deadly education, still loving it. I think it the plot isn't like the plot is a little different than expected, but I'm actually enjoying it. The plot is just very much more like survive, kind of handle the challenges that are thrown at you and continue to figure things out, which I am actually really enjoying. I feel like in most other books, I, I would get annoyed and I actually need like a storyline, but because there's so much information and world building, I actually really appreciate that you're not trying to add in this big plot either, or trying to put that on top and just confuse you. Um, but yeah, so it's four o'clock, um, so I'm gonna head out to have dinner with my aunt and uncle. Alright y'all, it is ten o'clock Wednesday night, um, which does mean that I'm going to be up very late editing this vlog, so it can be up on Thursday morning. But you know what? It's gonna be worth it because I finished A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. So, <laughs> and I loved it. I love this book so much. Again, I literally just finished it like a minute ago, so I'm very much coming off of the completed high. Also, if you hear someone talking very loudly, our housemate is having a D&D &D session and she's very passionate, so just ignore that. But 
I loved this book. I loved how our main character was, like, one of those characters where, like, everyone hates her, but you love her. I haven't read many books with that kind of protagonist, and so it was really refreshing. I loved the magic system. I loved the school system. I, oh, I, I love that the plot was, like, survival, but it was, like, character-driven. Normally, I don't like character-driven books, but I loved this one, and this very much encouraged me in so many ways in my personal life because the main character has to learn, like, so many different languages, and that is a, um, a passion of mine outside of reading, and just the whole, like, it almost encourages me to live a better lifestyle, <laughs> like, to continue studying and to continue working hard and to, oh, my word, and to, like, really appreciate things that I have, but I just absolutely adored this, and I would highly suggest you pick it up if you've heard anything about it. I really want to pick up The Last Graduate, which I believe comes out this November. Is that, is that true? Does it come out this November? I think it does. Anyway, The Last Graduate is the second book, and then there will be a third one as well. I don't know if it's stopping at a trilogy, but like this kind of left off on a cliffhanger, which was kind of exciting, because uh, if you know me, then you know I need a cliffhanger if I'm going to continue with the series. Um, so there was a, a slight cliffhanger at the end of this, which, which is enough of a cliffhanger to get me to keep reading. On top of the fact that I love this book and I really want to read the next one. So, The Last Graduate. I was, I was very wrong. It came out September 28th of 2021. Oh my word, today is September 29th of 2021. So it came out yesterday. Wow. Great job, Laura. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is also obviously going to be the ending clip of this vlog because this vlog needs to go up in less than 12 hours and I need to sleep and be at work and even less than that. So, I read two books this week, which I'm trying to read three a week and I haven't quite done that yet, but to be fair, some of these books have been chonky. I know that next week I will read all three books. I, and here, here's why. Actually, no, I'll tell that after I close out this section. So I read Ace of Spades and I gave this out of five, five I gave this four out of five stars, 4.5 out of five stars. Um, there were just a few pacing issues and a few character issues I had with it, but other than that, it was absolutely wonderful. And then I read A Deadly Education, five out of five stars right now as I'm coming off the high of finishing it. And I loved it. I loved these two. I loved how different they were. Yeah, because initially I was supposed to be reading How We Fall Apart by Kitty Zhao next, but it just was so similar to Ace of Spades that I wanted a break from that plot idea. Um, so now that I've read A Deadly Education, I will continue reading this. I, however, was also supposed to read A Lesson in Vengeance, so I substituted one of these books for A Deadly Education, because these books were both longer. Um, uh, my little bit of time tonight, I'm probably going to read a little more of How We Fall Apart, but I won't update you. Uh, if I do, I'll update you in next week's vlog, but I'm still very interested in reading both of these, um, but probably after or around the time I read the other thrillers that I didn't get to in those couple of days uh, after the vlogs are done, but before Halloween, on Halloween, and probably the beginning of November. Um, yeah, so now let's talk about next week. So it is the Shapeshifters week, and so I have three books. I only have three books. I don't have any more. Uh, one is Hound of God, and it's a very, very short book, so I expect I will finish that very quickly. The Another one is Red Wolf, and I just got the audiobook for that one, so that's going to help me read it even faster. And then the last one is Curses, and I have a hold for the audiobook on that, and I'm position number one on one copy, so I'm hoping that I'll get it in the next day or so, so that I can have audiobooks for those two books. And yeah, so I expect Hand of God I could probably read in a night uh, very easily. And then, because I read, I read this, all of this today. I read like the first five pages yesterday and that was it. So I essentially read uh, this 300 page book today. And so I believe I can read Hound of, Do Hound of God in that time. And then the other ones have audiobooks, so it should be pretty fun. Yeah, so, so far, the reading extravaganza has been going well. Even if I've only finished a couple books each week, they've all been very highly rated books, 
which is great, but I also know that these first two weeks contained the most books that I were I was predicting to be like five star reads. Um, so as we go into other weeks, there are books that I don't know as well, so I don't know if they're actually going to be five star reads. But yeah, that's exciting. I I'm gonna end that here. I think you know everything that you need to. Um, so subscribe if you haven't already as I release these vlogs every Thursday and then I have bonus videos going up on Tuesday during spooky season so you still get regular content. Yeah, comment down below if you read any of these and what your thoughts are or if you have any other Dark Academia recommendations because I feel like Dark Academia is perfect for spooky season but it's also one that I would love reading after spooky season just like in regular the rest of fall like November and even into winter just purely because they're cozy reads and like I feel like fall and winter are such uh, academic heavy seasons just because when you get to spring all you think about is summer and just being done with the year um, so I would love to continue reading Dark Academia even after Halloween but yeah so if you have any recommendations leave them down below for me otherwise give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you a happy spooky reading.